In this video, we will learn four different liquid motion graphics techniques to animate a liquid transition, liquid motion trills, and liquid splash like this all in After Effects without using any external plugin. And you can get the open file of this video from our website linked in the description, where you will get three unique liquid transitions and three different liquid effects to take your content quality to the next level. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. So first, we're going to start with liquid line wave transition. Okay, right now we are in After Effects and let's start with creating a line stroke with the pen tool. And you can add the curvature on the shape path by adjusting the Bezier handles. And let's add a stroke and cancel the fill. Stroke width of around 410. And from here, let's change the line cap to round cap. And let's name the layer to stay organized from the very start. Now inside the shape layer, inside contents, inside the stroke, we're going to adjust some tapered value. So let's increase the start length. Let's give it around 60%. And let's add a little ease at the start, so give it around 40%. And now let's add trim pots. So click on add and trim pots. Under trim pot, we're going to animate start, end and offset. So add keyframes on all the three properties. Let's animate the end property from 0% to 70% for around 16 frames. So note that currently we are in 25 FPS. And let's add a keyframe on the start at the 16th frame. Now let's jump on to next 8 frames and let's animate the offset and just match the start value with the end value which is 70. And now we're going to animate the stroke width. So let's jump on to next 9th frame and we're going to start the animation from here. Let's add a keyframe and let's start the stroke width from 80 pixels. Now on the 16th frame, we're going to increase the stroke width to 410. And at the end, let's decrease it to 250. On the 16th frame, the line is not entirely covering the screen. So we can adjust the offset a little bit so that the head and the tail of the line is outside the screen. Okay, let's start the stroke width animation from the 5th frame itself. And now we're going to duplicate the shape layer 5 more times, align it horizontally and vary the shape path. And just making sure that the entire scene is covered up by all the shapes on the 16th frame. Because when you are animating a transition, that's the point where you are going to switch the scenes. And just offset the layers randomly by one or two frames to add some randomness to the overall animation. Again, we'll make sure that the entire scene is covering up with the shape layers on the 16th frame. We can even add a marker to keep track of that frame. And this is how it looks now. Okay, now pre-comp all the shape layers together. And now we're going to add more detailing to this transition. So let's copy a shape layer from this composition and paste it over here. And just remove all the keyframes, keeping just the offset property keyframes. And let's solo this layer so that we can only work on this layer separately. Giving the stroke width of around 120. And let's adjust the start and the end. And also let's animate the offset so that it comes in from outside the screen and goes outside the screen. And right now we are going to start the entire line wave animation after the small particle wave enters the screen. So maybe somewhere around here and let's check it. Yeah, this one looks good. And right now we are going to duplicate this line particle layer few more times and vary the start and the end value to add a little variation on these particles. And you can even repeat the process of adding more detailing at the end of the transition as well. But right now we're going to keep it like this. So now let's add an adjustment layer and apply Gaussian Blur. Blurness of around 15 and then Matte Choker. And let's reduce the choke one to around 4. And then let's apply Roughen Edges. Roughness border of around 20. Let's increase the scale to around 350 complexity of 1 and now we got that liquid effect. So now if you want to add some frame by frame fill to this animation then you can apply posterize time and reduce the frame rate to around 12 or 15. And right now you get that effect of a hand drawn animation. And finally if you want to apply gradient on the entire frame just apply gradient ramp and adjust the start and the end color. 
and one final thing you may get some issues at the edges of the composition so to fix that all you have to do is just parent all the particle layers with the main composition and scale the entire thing by two or three percent and it should be fixed okay now let's move on to the ink split transition animation let's start with adding a solid layer so right click new and solid now let's select the solid layer pick the rectangle tool and create a rectangle shaped mask to split the solid layer into half now let's select the mask path and add some vertex with the add vertex tool on this edge and we are adding the vertex randomly and now we will rearrange the vertex up and down so that it looks irregular just like this and i want this shape to be in form of mouth opening so it should be in this curvature so all we need to do is select this mid section of the vertex and just move it above and just slightly readjust the vertexes and now we will bring the convert vertex tool so for that you have to activate the selection tool and press and hold the alt key plus the control key and bring the cursor and you can bring the bezier handle and we are just going to add curvature to the sharp corners of the vertex and make sure to hold the shift key while you are moving the bezier handle to snap the bezier handle horizontally okay now let's animate the mask path so open the mask path add a keyframe at zero let's move on to sixth frame and we are in 25 fps composition and add a keyframe and at the start we will decrease the amplitude of this curved motion path and maybe change the direction a little at sixth frame let's select the entire mask path of this side and slightly move it above now let's jump on to next nine frames and we will select the entire mask path and move it outside the screen and readjust the mask path so that it looks like the liquid is spreading out now just easy is the keyframes and convert the middle keyframe into a roving keyframe for that select the keyframe press and hold the control key and double click on it and this is how it looks now and now we can duplicate this shape layer one more time and just rotate it by 180 degree and this is how it looks now okay now it's time to add more details okay now let's add another solid layer and let's add some mass path for the droplets of the liquid split and now just open the mass path and animate it from start to the end following the exact timing of the ink split animation and now we can copy the motion graph editor from the keyframes with the transition layers copy it from is copy and select the keyframes of the droplets mask path and paste on is on the paste section of is copy now the motion graphs are copied and pasted properly and now we have this droplet animation so right now all we have to do is just duplicate it one more time then rotate it by 180 degree again Maybe we can add some variation, place it over here and we can get the other side of the droplet. And this is how it looks now. And finally, to liquefy this entire transition, we can follow the same process of adding the effects or we can just copy and paste the adjustment layer that we have added previously. Just simply copy it and paste it over here. But in case if we don't want the gradient over here, just turn it off. And this is how it looks like. And now we're going to animate the liquid motion trails. Let's start with drawing a shape path with the pen tool and you can use the bezier handle to change the curvature of the shape path with the stroke width of 40 and no fill. Now let's name the layer. Also let's change the line cap to rounded cap. And now under stroke, inside taper, change the start length to 100%. And now we will add a trim path. And under trim path, let's add keyframes on start, end and offset. Now let's move on to next 8 frames and change the end value to 50% and start the end from 0 and add a keyframe on start on the 8th frame. And now let's jump to next 10th frame and move the offset from one end to the other and just match start with the end that means 50%. And also let's add a keyframe on the end property. So now is is the keyframes and change the motion graph editor such that the line pops up very fast and disappears with an is. Okay, one more thing. Let's add a keyframe on stroke width. So we will start the stroke width from 8 pixels. After 4 frame, let's change the stroke width to 40 over here. Now from this keyframe, let's jump on to next 4 frame and again 
copy and paste this keyframe that means 40 pixels and at the end let's decrease to 6 pixels well it's already looking pretty good now we're going to add more detailing to this motion trail okay now we have to apply roughen edges so let's copy it from the previous liquid transitions that we have already done so we're only going to copy the roughen edges from here select it control select copy select this layer and control v paste and the effect is pasted properly all right now we are going to duplicate this layer two more time vary the position and the shape path and offset the layers to add more variation to the trail and this is how it finally turns out and now it's time for the final technique where we will learn how to animate liquid splash so here i have already animated few line strokes using the similar technique we used for the motion trails just now okay now let's animate the liquid ring for the splash let's start with creating a circle shape and just align it with the center of the origin of the splash hand rename it let's add a keyframe on skill add stroke width and we are going to animate it around 16 frames so let's jump on to next 16th frame and scale it up and reduce the stroke width and at the start let's decrease the scale to around 15 and let's increase the stroke width to about 45 this is the keyframe and let's change the motion graph editor such that it pops up fast and disappears slowly with an ease and now let's apply roughen edges and at the end somewhere around here we're going to increase the border such that it looks somewhat like this it should not disappear as a stroke it should disappear with few liquid particles spreading out you can change the border value maybe we can give it 40 you can even change the edge sharpness to harden or soften the edges of the ship let's reduce the complexity to one and maybe scale of 210 and i would like to decrease the stroke width at the start let's give it 30 and here we have it all right so that is it for this video and don't forget to get the liquid motion graphics pack where you will get three unique liquid transitions and three different liquid effects which also includes a motion trail animation and liquid splash animation to make your overall content quality more engaging. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.